everyone! My name is Sabrina Melodieuse. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a Yarny Chat video. Yay! And admittedly, I have quite a few whips and finished items to show you. Let's count. I have two, six whips <laughs> and four finished items. Yes. So I hope you will enjoy. Um, I am quite conscious of time, how it, how it is spent and people not necessarily having the time to watch the whole thing. So I'm going to try and uh, make it not too long. <laughs> but that's one thing I can never guarantee because as I'm recording, I don't really realize how quick the time is flying. And by the time I know it, I usually have just under an hour's video done. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, are people really going to watch that? But anyway, let's just do it, shall we? Is it recording? Yes, it's recording. It's still recording. Okay. <laughs> so what am I going to start with? Oh, yes. Uh, I do have a brand new tutorial. If you've missed it, please go and check it out if you want to. It is all about the crab stitch, done with a twist and forward. Yes, it is a lot easier and quicker to do, I think, in my opinion. And actually, this is how I was taught many, many years ago. Um, when I first saw how people do the crab stitch, I, well, I've been quite curious and tried it myself. And I actually hate it. It just does not feel good. But the way I was taught felt completely um, natural, a lot easier and quicker. So I hope that if you are using a crab stitch, that you might uh, check out my quick tutorial. I will link it in the description box below. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I have also a little bit of an announcement. I have a few uh, patterns to uh, type and to uh, publish, as it were. So I'm going to start to do that now. I have one scheduled for next week. And with that one, it will come with a quick and easy tutorial. So this will be a knitting pattern that will be available. And I will teach you how to do the stitch that goes with the pattern. It will be for a baby blanket. Um, and also, I have designed a matching cardigan and a matching hat for zero to three months. But if you are interested in the actual pattern, which you will see next week, then you can tell me, would you be able to do that size? Then I can start to experiment with that. But please give me a little time because it's a lot of trial and error with that stitch. And I like to get the sizes precise. It's so important. So I think we're done with the... Um, announcements. I don't know. I feel I'm missing something. I don't know. I might have a couple of shout outs at the end of the video. So please stick to the end and see who I will be shouting out. During the video, when I show you my whips and finished items, inevitably I will shout out people because it is their designs that I'm working with. Okay? So shall we get on with the first whip? So let's talk about my first whip, which is one that I started a little while ago and I showed you. And it is all about France, uh, more precisely the countryside. And it's called Provence. So the idea is that as you walk through the countryside, you will see things. And this is what this blanket is representing. So I have finished uh, color one, which I won't show again because there's very little point. You've seen it before. But uh, just to remind you, 
my little pile of the first color is here and I don't remember the color it was I don't remember I don't see it on the label but it's very much plain yarn chicken throughout the whole thing let's see what is the color on this one it's called well who knows it's called fog okay it's called fog and this is how much I had left so with the fog um, I was really to see, I was really experimenting to see if I was going to have enough yarn in each color or will I need to order more yarn so with that in mind <laughs> It truly is quite uh, 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 frustrating because you are playing yarn chicken. This is all I have left. I don't think I have enough to make anything with this. But that's okay because it's really to make this item. But at the same time, you don't want to feel like you're playing yarn chicken throughout the whole thing, do you? Uh, so the next color I experimented with is Glacier. Or is it glacier? I don't know. It's glacier in French. And I have a tiny bit more than the last one. Why is that? I don't know. But I've got that much left. So I am very, very happy because all the squares with that color are done. And here is my little pile. Uh, there it is here. So I, let's see if I can show you very quickly. There are six. So the first one was this one. Then we had uh, one with cables, which is so much fun, like this. And then we had one which is called leaves, and I think they show better on that side. Yes, I think so. There we go. And then we had this one. And we had this one. It's all getting entangled. It's like but it's like uh the bows, they're like bows or butterflies. And we have more cable work, which is here. So that one is complete and I've got six more colors to work with. I am currently working on the next color which is mint and I started with this square. So I am going to carry on with that and uh, yes, I am excited because I'm, as this is going to sound bad, but <laughs> to me, this is how I work. When you work with the colors that you're not necessarily enjoying that much, I work with those first. And then I keep the more exciting colors for last. That way I am not dreading finishing the item, but it's more a case of, getting rid of the boring colors first and then really enjoying the rest of it <laughs> rather than enjoying it and then really not finishing the item because it's so boring does that make sense so i'm starting with the boring bit first and then i know i'm going to be so happy to continue until it's finished i hope it makes sense in my madness and my for me that makes sense shall we go to the next week my next whip I'm going to show you, but honestly, there is not that much uh, um, progress done on it. <laughs> but I will show it to you all the same. And this one is my brioche shawl, which I absolutely love. And I'm working with it with wonderful Angela's yarns. And that is uh, the Crazy Poppy Lady. So I will link her in the description box below. She hand dyes uh, yarns 
and I really, really love her work. I just love her yarns. They are amazing. So the uh, colored yarn I'm using is Angela's. The dark uh, color that I'm using is um, uh, is it Starcraft Naturals, something like that. And uh, it is a cotton bamboo blend yarn. So I'm going to show you now. If I can get to the yarn, where is it gone? Okay, I have it. So the dark one is this one. And like I said, it is, uh, I think it's Starcraft All Naturals or something. And that's it there, it's like a dark gray. I initially wanted black, but they don't have black. So I went for that one. And it is a very dark gray, almost black but not quite. And the color yarn that I'm using is this one. And I think it's called uh, Rainbow. It's beautiful and it is Angela's yarn. Yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. There it is. And the colors are paler on the camera than they should be. But honestly, the colors are very vibrant and a lot of fun. So my, my shawl, is knitted and if I remember I will put the link in the description box below it is a free pattern and it is a knitting brioche so with that means that it is reversible as well which is so much fun so the first uh, side is looking like this and we need to hold it this way like that And for me personally, the next side I'm going to show you is my favorite, yes. And it really shows Angela's yarn even more, which was the whole point of doing this uh, particular shawl, because I wanted to show off Angela's yarn. Now, there it is. And it's quite a decent side, a uh, side size already this is the width of it um, like that so I want it to be quite uh, larger so I can wear it on me of course at this point it's not big enough to do anything not even a kerchief or anything like that so I want to carry on with this one and do it longer and larger <laughs> so I can have my beautiful shawl, yes? So that is my brioche knitting shawl. On to the next one. The next uh, item I want to show you is quite special. I've done this one several times already and it is such a beautiful pattern and it's from Bonnie Bay Crochet and it's called the Cable Heart Throw. So I've done that a couple of times for some customers, there were commissions, and I've done it for a close friend of mine. Um, so that was a lot of fun. But now I am starting those again, I'm doing uh, this blanket twice for my elder children, and their favorite color is a burgundy. Both of them, they love burgundy so much. So I thought I'm going to do this blanket again. And I have started, I think I have made a good progress. And it's called a cable heart throw. Now Bonnie Bay has beautiful patterns. And uh, uh, more, uh, more than often, no, I don't know if that made sense there. She also has video tutorials to accompany some of her patterns. Now, uh, I will link the pattern in the description box below. It's free. And I will, I uh, think it's free. And I will also link the video tutorials as well as Bonnie Bay's channel. Hello, Bonnie Bay Crochet. I don't know if you're watching, but if you are, hello. And so here is my um, progress. And I'm working with Burgundy. 
iron weight yarn and uh, well there are various sizes of crochet hooks so this is my progress so far it's quite a long blanket but you're working it side from side to side so I'm just going to show you a fraction of it because there's very little point showing a whole lot and I'm going to show you lengthwise because that's how it's intended to be so this is how much I have done here is her um, um, this is the next section I'm working on the first section was this one and it's the arrow arrow stitch and then I worked on this uh, one here which are bubbles and then more arrow I think it's that way more arrow and now I am starting on this section it's so hard to show this darn camera but it's so much fun and so textured and I love it so much yes I hope you can see this well because it is a beautiful pattern and I'm really hoping that working with burgundy is not too dark for that pattern and that everything will be seen just fine it seemed to look fine on a camera so well on to the next one So my next whip I want to show is uh, the Beautiful Friend Shawl by Beautiful Ursula at OM Granny Square. Hello Ursula! Her pattern is beautiful. She is beautiful. And yes, as soon as the, uh, well, prior to the pattern release, when she announced the pattern and showed and shown the shawl, I thought, immediately I need to make this yes and before I even got the pattern release date I ordered the yarn immediately and then I was ready to go, get started so the yarn I chose was a sheepies whirlet in a banana color and to me I wanted to make something that represents the sunshine um, because I just love the sunshine here we don't see it so much so that's why I like to make things that to me brings the sunshine sunshine to me <laughs> come on mouth work <laughs> that's terrible okay so uh, Ursula's pattern incidentally Ursula is celebrating her 7k subscribers which is amazing Congratulations, Ursula. I'm so, so happy for you. And she has this pattern, I think is 50% off at the moment in her store. So I am going to link the pattern in the description box below, as well as Ursula's channel, of course. And uh, so the yarn I'm using is this one. I think I am almost halfway through the second skin it is sheepies whirlet and the color of banana i'm a bit wary with this camera because you know in real life this looks really quite vibrant i don't know if it looks better on my dress i don't know but this is the color it looks more vibrant here, yes? <laughs> okay, anyhow, this is how the shawl uh, looks. And honestly, I thought I was nearly done. But as it turns out, I'm not. I thought I was on row, well, just about to begin on the uh, border. And as it turns out, I am nowhere near that. I have, I will show you. So this is how my shawl looks and it feels beautiful with this yarn. I absolutely love it. Yes. This is my shawl so far. It's 
Isn't it a beautiful pattern? So I thought when I, I was working that this section here, this section here, I thought I was done with it. But then I realized very quickly that no, I am not. I have to do another one of this section. It's so hard. I have to show this sec I have to start this section again and then another one of those sections. And then I can do the border. So but it kind of makes sense because otherwise I thought, oh. This is quite a small shawl, so it kind of makes sense that I have to continue with it and uh, make it longer before I start on the uh, border. So I am uh, almost done with my third row of double crochet. There's literally just that much to do. And then I can do another section with a puff stitch right here. And then finally, I can work on the border. It's so enjoyable. Even the yarn is beautiful to work with. But this is one shawl I'm really looking forward to wearing. Beautiful patterns. Explain the, the, the instructions on the pattern are wonderful. And if you follow the video instructions as well, they are perfect. So I highly recommend this one. Okay, so that's it for my um, beautiful friend shawl. On to the next whip. Okay, here I am. <laughs> I didn't realize it was recording there, but it is. Okay, so my next whip. Um, I was sent a beautiful yarn for my birthday by beautiful Sam at Manfa's May. Hello, lovely Sam. I really, really love this yarn so much that I went immediately onto the internet looking for patterns. And I like to find patterns that are not necessarily from people we all know. I like to find other people that I like to discover and bring out to you. But this time it's from a knitting magazine. Yes, and it's called Vogue. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know Vogue. And they have knitting magazines, they've got uh, sewing magazines, they've got all kinds of magazines. And normally the only way to get patterns from them is if you buy the actual magazines especially if they are older kind of magazines. But this time I was very fortunate to, um, is this a recording? Yes, to be able to buy the pattern online and download it. So that is what I did. And it is quite an unusual pattern that I think you'll only be able to see exactly how it looks at the end of it. But I am making some good progress on it and I am mega happy. Thank you so much, lovely Sam. I love, love, love this yarn. I will show you the yarn. And it's one that I've always enjoyed working with. I Usually I pick uh, other colors, like lighter colors, but this is wonderful. Actually, I also bought um, bright red one before and I did a hat which I don't know where it went but the bright red um, but this one is a beautiful color and it is called uh, it's called claret nep I don't know what the nep means but it's claret and this is how it looks it's so beautiful and I love those uh, bits and pieces that are shown. Yes, I truly love this color so much. And um, I have used quite a bit of it. I don't know if you can tell because uh, I get the yarn from the center. 
so it's quite squishable I think I'm almost halfway through this skein maybe a third maybe a third but so anyway <laughs> the, the the pattern is for I don't know if it's like a tunic or it's not a cowl it's longer than a cowl it will go around my neck and then I just wear it here like so and it will have a little bit of a sleeve and hopefully will keep me warm for the autumn coming and just really it's a pattern that I am enjoying so much and it's quite uh, fun and unusual now I'm going to show you now this is my progress I think I've done enough progress to be able to show you and uh, this is how it looks quite funky and fun and I love it so this is it so far there's a lot of cable work involved uh, there like that isn't that an unusual pattern it's so hard to show let's see like this can you see the cables there's a lot of cable work truly this camera is not the easiest camera at all but this is quite an unusual kind of cable because when you work your cable then you have to let uh, one of the stitches you have to let go to create a ladder which is here and honestly I'm not sure how I feel about the ladder but there's a ladder here here and also onto the side here and here and there are these holes here that you create again I'm not sure how I feel about those but it's one of those unusual and uh, fun patterns that I thought I need to make it and wear it. And when I started, I wasn't really even sure of the size, but I think this is a good size. I think it will fit me like that. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I love it, love it, love it. Hopefully you'll be able to see it better once it's finished. You know, because it's so hard to show on this camera. But anyway, so this is how it looks. And I really have to say I love this pattern so much. So I will link this pattern in the description box below. It is paid for, but it is beautiful and the instructions are wonderful. Uh, and there's also a chart so yeah I love it love it love it on to my last whip oh I forgot to say uh, I will link uh, Sam's beautiful channel down below in the description box please go check her out she is just a wonderful person and I absolutely cherish her friendship. She's just such a lovely person. And yeah, I don't know what else to say because I really, really enjoy everything she does. She is a wonderful person. Yeah, I see. I'm just repeating myself. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah, but you know, I adore you, Sam, don't you? I really do. Mwah! I love you, my beautiful friend. Okay, on to the next whip now. Okay, my hair is just doing what it wants to do today. Um, I guess as usual, really, just there. <laughs> oh, well, okay, my last whip I want to show you today, and I want to get this right. Now, this pattern was released just a few days ago, and when I say a few days ago, I mean a few days ago, like two days ago, maybe. <laughs> and it's from a beautiful Yarny sister. Darla! Yes, the crafty yarn owl with Darla! <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful design. You all need to check it out. And it's called Jacob's Ladder 
a crescent or half moon shawl or a wrap. Yes, and I have started on it like yesterday, literally just yesterday. And I didn't do that much admittedly, but I did start. And I am using a beautiful yarn. I forgot what it's called, but it is all glittery and it's all a lot of beautiful and fun colors. I will have the details in my next video. But right now, I don't know uh, what it's called. I think it's King Cole something. I know it's glitter yarn and uh, relatively new. So here it is. I hope you can see the sparkles. And again, the colors are not as vivid as they should be. But in real life, they are quite vivid. So, so far, it won't really make much sense to you right now because the Jacob's Ladder, excuse me, will be, uh, um, I'm sorry, something's bothering me. The Jacob's Ladder will not be formed until right the end. I'm sorry, I am back. I don't think it's the hay fever, but something was bothering me and I was about to choke. So I, <laughs> I cut it out immediately. But uh, um, anyhow, so I didn't do that much, admittedly. I know I'm repeating myself here, but I don't know where I left it off. And um, the Jacob's Ladder won't be formed until I am ready to work on uh, the border. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. And honestly, I am a long way off that because I just started yesterday. But the yarn is beautiful to work with. It feels lovely, soft and warm. And already I can't wait to wear my shawl. But I couldn't resist to show you since I am doing a, a yarny chat, even if there's just a little bit to show, and uh, it's a good way to let you know there's a new tutorial from Beautiful Darla. That's if you don't know already. So this is my how my shawl looks so far. Yeah, there really isn't a lot. <laughs> that is it. Can you see the sparkles? Yeah, and honestly, the colors are a little bit more vivid in real life, in the camera. They look so dull, you know? And very sparkly, very, very sparkly. I think this is another thing the camera is missing. It's sparkly. Maybe if I put it against me, let's see. Can you see the sparkle? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just being silly. But yeah, this is a very enjoyable one and I think I'm going to work on that this weekend, why not? So we are now done with the whips. I have four finished items to show you. So which one shall I start with? Um. Okay, I know. So my first finished item is truly a very beautiful pattern. I don't know who the designer is. and I know you can download it somewhere. I think it is a paid pattern. So if I remember, I will add the pattern in the description box below. It is a crocheted one and it is beautiful. This one is like an uh, ebook. You have several designs in one, not just the one. So if just bear that in mind, and the price is very reasonable, but bear that in mind, you will have, I think, four or five uh, different patterns in the one PDF, and they are all very, very beautiful. Yes. Now, this blanket, I've done it several times in the past. And uh, this time, I thought this would suit a, 
uh, sparkly yarn, which I don't think the camera will pick up on. It's so down, it's so disheartening. So at some point, maybe next week, I will take pictures and post the pictures in a um, community tab if I can. If not, I'll do like a slideshow. <laughs> okay, so it's called Precious in Pink, but you can do that in any color you want, obviously. And this one I chose is a baby sparkle yarn that you can get in B&M. It's DK and very sparkly and white. And I think this suits this pattern really well. I'm not too sure how to show this to you because it's quite big. So please bear, bear with me for a moment, but it truly is beautiful. So this is a blanket. Yeah. You know, it's so hard, it really is. I'm going to um, put it in half and then show you. And it is reversible as well. This is what I really like. It's the same on both sides. This pattern here is the same on both sides. Side A, side one is like this and side two is exactly the same. Beautiful, really nice and textured. And can you see the sparkle? It's annoying because it's an important part, you know, that you have to see. Now, what really won my heart when I first saw this pattern is the uh, um, edging, the border. It is beautiful. This border is, without a doubt, one of my favorite borders ever. So let me show it to you. You might disagree, but I think it's so pretty and just beautiful and uh, yeah that's it really so I'll show it to you now it's really difficult can you tell I'm struggling so here is the border Why is it so hard to do? I don't know. I'm going to come closer and show, show it to you. I'll try and show it to you a little bit better. Let's see if I can do it this way. Um, does it have to be so hard? There, this is the border. I'm still failing miserably. <laughs> Please, everyone, forgive me. This truly, I don't understand why it's so hard. Come on. Last attempt, okay? I don't want to bore you to tears. But it is a beautiful border. There. Okay. This is better. Can you see? How detailed and 3D it is. It truly is beautiful. There we are. So there's a, a, some 3D element here. And it's just so beautiful and so quick to make as well. It looks complicated, but actually... It's not, it's very, very easy. And I think it's only four or five rounds, that's it. So I really, really enjoy this border so much. And the actual blanket as well, because it's just beautiful. When you put it into quarter, this is how it looks. So, you know what? This is too difficult. I will have to do uh, a pictures 
and either put in my um, community tab or uh, slideshow sometime next week I hope that's okay <laughs> beautiful pattern absolutely beautiful I highly highly recommend it okay I have three more items to show you So for this next finished item, it is another Bunny Bay pattern, of course. Well, why not? They are all so beautiful. And I have done the Abigail baby blanket. I have used some yarn that I got from the Knitting Network. And it's called ABC yarn. I think it's called ABC. Makes sense, <laughs> rather than ARC. I think it's ABC yarn scribble dk and um where is it it says abigail blanket it suggested it's for a girl really so i thought let's try it with a blue so <laughs> that's me and um this is the color i have used so it is abc yarn scribble dk i hope you can see that okay and this is the colorway it is truly beautiful it just looks so pale yeah i don't know if it's the window over there but it's it's not that pale it's not dark exactly but yeah there's more color to it so again i might fail uh, at showing you this beautiful blanket so if i do sometime next week you will see a picture either that on its own or in the slideshow okay so the abigail blanket so much fun and so quick to make yes it's a baby blanket so uh this is how it looks i might have to stand this is how it looks It is so beautiful, different sections to work on and everything. And the border is so fun. I'll show it to you now. Let's try and do it a little bit closer, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to fold that in quarter and show you. So the blanket is like that. But it's a square, remember, I'm just showing you a quarter. Well, I need to fold it properly so you can see it. Okay, here we go. So you start off here, and then you're doing the arrow stitch. I think it's the arrow stitch, yes, yes, it's the arrow stitch. And then you do some more double crochet rounds. And then you do the Celtic weave, which is right here. And then some more crochet round, double crochet. And then Celtic weave again, uh, no, sorry, arrow stitch. And then some more double crochet, then Celtic weave, double crochet. And then there's the arrow stitch here. And then finally the beautiful border, which is very simple, but very effective very easy and quick to make look at this beautiful border show you just the one section here just like that on its own look at this border truly a beautiful pattern which i will link in the description box and there is a video tutorial which i will also link in the description box and i think this pattern um, works well with this yarn, don't you? When I first started the blanket, I thought I was a bit nervous. Would it show the arrow stitch? Would it show the Celtic weave? Um, but I think it does. And this yarn feels so lovely that it would be lovely on any baby's skin. Just, yes, it's just beautiful. And it's quite warm as well. So 
I do recommend the Knitting Networks yarn and I do recommend this beautiful project to make from Bonnie Bay Crochet. So I will link her channel and her pattern in the description box below. Yeah, so please feel free to check them out. Oh, and the video as well. The video. Oh, well, guess what? I've got two more whips to, uh, whips, no, finished items to show you. Oh, yes, I do. Next finished item, yes. And it is about the little bird uh, pattern, which is available on Ravelry. And it's from Angela, the crazy puppy lady. Hello, lovely Angela. It is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. It is a paid for one, but the price is very low. And in that pattern, you can make a cushion. There's a cushion pattern in there. And there's also a pattern for a blanket. And there are, I think, is it three or four different charts? Uh, there are, uh, there's a bird, bird A, let's say, and bird B. Because bird A is facing this way, let's say, this way, and the other bird is facing the other way. So you've got two birds there that you can make. And there's also uh, beautiful techniques in there that you can learn. Uh, in, the, the, in the pattern, there are eight um, links to video tutorials. And she shows you all the techniques that she's used for this blanket uh, or a uh, cushion. Um, and also, what was I going to say? There's a very special uh, border that's not in the video form. It is exclusive for the written pattern. And I really like that uh, because when you buy it, then you're, you know that you've got something a little bit ultra special. And it is the border. And borders are the things that make or break the actual project, are they not? So that border is beautiful. Honestly, this pattern is amazing. So I don't want to keep you too long. I um, I did show in my uh, last Yarny chat that my item was finished, but I wanted to make something a little bit more special to it before I could call it a finished item. And now it is a finished item. So I'm going to show you my little bird. And here is my little bird. Isn't it cute? And here's my border. Which I did a different border to Angela's, but it is very similar. And the back of it is like that. I've enjoyed making this so much. Absolutely, I've enjoyed it so, so much. I am contemplating making a blanket. Yes, Angela, I am. But not just yet. <laughs> Soon. Um, to make a special blanket for a special little girl. So, as we know, when I work things, I like to uh, give it a little twist, shall we say. Mine is neither a blanket, it is not a cushion cover. It is a bag, I have lined it. I didn't do a fantastic job exactly, but I did and I did put a handle on it, so I will show you. So uh, here is my zip, the zip here, so you open it, and then it is lined. So I'm going to do my best to show you, just to, sh to, to show you, I am not the best sewing person ever in the universe, but I have lined it like this. And on the other side, I think it looks a bit better on this side, like that. Like, honestly, I really am not the best sewing person ever, but I do have a lining now. 
which I am super happy about. And, and here's the uh, handle or whatever you call it. So that now I can go outside with my bag just like that. And uh, there. Yeah? You can't see, can you? Because I'm too close. Here, like that. <laughs> I'm not uh, tall enough. There. Yeah? Wonderful. I am super happy with it. Really, really, really love it. Yay! My bag, my little bird bag. Okay, it's catching on my hair. But this is my little bird bag. I have one more finished item to show you. Yay! And my last finished item for today is very special to me. I really, really love it. I I have made this item before for beautiful Sarah at a uh, is it Crafty Moo Sarah? I will link her channel in the description box below. And I loved it so much that um, I thought I want to make myself one, but I didn't have any yarn in mind until I saw Angela uh, showing some of her yarns, and I said, "Oh." Angela, I want this one and I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. So uh, I got this pattern out again. I got some yarn from Angela and I started to work on it. Took a while, but I got it done. I got it done in a four ply yarn, which is like a fingering weight in the USA. And I used... Um, a Starcraft special four ply in black. I used uh, almost a hundred grams. I have this much left from the 100 grams. So almost all of it. <laughs> and from Angela's yarn, I used two of her beautiful cakes. And this is how much I have left from the second cake. So I used two cakes to make this. I felt sure I would need more, but you know what? No, two cakes and I've got this much left. So I've got this much left for, from both of those. So I used 100 grams of the black and almost 100 grams of uh, my beautiful cakes, which is called Coral Kisses. That's what the colorway is called, okay? And my finished item is in my bag. <laughs> so shall I get it out? I really love this one. The pattern is called Autumn Leaves. And I really wanted to make something to make Angela's yarn pop out. And I think I succeeded. I really do. And I think this is the perfect pattern for it. And I love it, and I'm going to wear it, and wear it, and wear it. What is it? It's a shawl, or like a, a wrap, or a stole, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to do my best at showing it to you. And this is what it looks like. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yes. So I'm going to show you section by section, because it's so long. It starts here, and you can see all the leaves, can't you? And then you carry on, like that, you carry on to here. Yeah, I love it. Let's see if I can stand and show it to you better. I don't know. This is how it looks. The top is not stain put there. Yes, it's beautiful. And I love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to put it on now. 
like so. Let's see. Can you see now? Like that. All the details here and here. Oh, I love it so much. Yes. And there we are. I think I'm just gonna going to keep it on until the end now because I'm nearly done with the video. But ah, oh, what I love it! I love it. I just yes, that's all I have to say about it. I just love it. Yay! Oh my goodness! Yes! <laughs> so happy! And this is with beautiful Angela's yarns. Please check her out. She's amazing, Angela, the crazy poppy lady. I will link her channel in the description box below. And honestly, she is amazing at dyeing yarn. Absolutely amazing. Look at this. It's just really beautiful. That's her yarns that did that, you know. I just really, really love it. Okay, I'm going to stop now because otherwise I could just go on and on and on, just repeating the same things over and over again. And that's rather boring. Okay, <laughs> well that took a while didn't it, but I've showed you all my wigs, I've showed you all my finished items and honestly I'm overjoyed with this bag, overjoyed, I love it so much. Anyhow, um, so now is the time to do shout out, I think I'm just going to do the two today if that's okay. So I'm going to start with beautiful, um, who am I going to start with today? I don't know. I know who I want to start with because I was talking about her earlier and I don't think I've said anything apart from go check out her pattern and her, sorry, her tutorial. Um, it is the uh, wonderful ladders, uh, Jacob's ladder pattern, no, video tutorial that I mentioned earlier. And I am not as happy uh, with myself right now because I didn't say much about the person that I absolutely cherish so, so much. And it is beautiful Darla, the crafty yarn owl with Darla. Hey, my beautiful yarny sister, you know I love you very much and I cherish you so much. And I realized later that I didn't really say anything about you. Now, Darla is just such a beautiful lady. She is amazing. She is amazingly talented. She has so many beautiful tutorials available to you now. From uh, blankets to shawls, wearables, lots of tops. There's a dress or two. There are so many things, bags, a lot of things that you can just check out. And she does beautiful videos. She does a lot of um, yarny chats, of course. <laughs> but she shows a lot of uh, uh, yarn holes, non yarn holes, a lot of happy mail, um, lots of different things that her channel is just so much fun. If you don't know who she is already, I don't understand why. But if you don't, Please check her out. She is such an amazing person. And I love her so much. Love you, my Annie says. <laughs> yes, and um, oh, very soon I will have to show you something that I made for beautiful Darla. And as we speak, I think it is now in Canada. <laughs> so I hope that she won't have too much uh, to wait. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I'm rather nervous about this package. I really am. Uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy everything that's in there. My beautiful Darla, my beautiful Yarny Sis. Okay. So I think I have gone on and on and on now. But yeah, truly, I hold a very dear and special place in my heart for Darla right here. and. Uh, I don't know why we connected and she is, she's just a gem, truly. 
So, uh, okay, on to my next shout out. I have one more shout out to do and this uh, shout out is just as special to me and it is for beautiful Cristina at Bella Uncinetto. Ciao Bella Cristina! Uh, yes, she is just a beautiful lady and I just really cherish her and she has wonderful videos. Please, please check her out now. I have a special request for you all, please, if you're not subscribed to Christina, to please do so, because her son said that nobody's interested in yarn, actually my own son said that, mom, you're not going to do well with that channel, no one's interested, so I totally get, I totally understand Christina. Her son said exactly the same. No one's going to be interested, mom. No one cares for yarn. And uh, which is not so nice to hear. It's a bit hurtful at times, to be honest. When my son says that, it kind of hurts me a little, but I don't show it. But yeah, so I understand. So now, Christina's on a quest and um, she wants to get to her 1,000 subscribers very quickly, as quickly as possible, because her son is about to visit her for two weeks. And here's the thing, he said if she gets to 999 subscribers, that he will do two things. The first thing, he wants to be the 1,000th subscriber, and he is going, and number two, he's going to do a live video with Christina. Okay, I don't know about you all, but I am super excited about this. We need to get Christina to her 1K. But obviously not just for that, you know, because Christina is a wonderful content creator. And she's such a lovely and bubbly person. You will just love her. She is really, really, I just, yeah, I don't know how to how else to put it. I do cherish her. You know that, Christina, yes, I really do. Okay, and um, I'm bubbling with excitement to see Christina do this live video with her son. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, let's, please, shall we make that happen? I would really love that. Please, please, I will uh, link. Christina's channel in the description box below. So please go and visit her. Yes? Oh, it's recording. Okay, you know, I'm not used to talking this much. <laughs> I feel I've done a lot of talking. Almost an hour there. It's going to be an hour. This video is going to be another hour. I am so sorry everyone. I don't know why I do these ginormous videos. I it just it just happens. And if you have stuck to the end, I can't thank you enough. But um it, it just yeah, I love to see it when people watch videos, even if it's just a little segment of it. Or if you fast forward in between, that's okay. But yes, I have enjoyed showing you everything that I have here. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it all. And if you haven't heard of people I've mentioned today, please go check them out. They would appreciate it a lot. And they are wonderful. So please do. Um, okay, so that is it for today. I am done. I'm going to finish here, have lunch, and uh, upload the video. <laughs> So uh, thank you everyone uh, so much for watching. I look forward to seeing your comments. If you've got any questions, any suggestions, any requests, please feel free to put them in the description box below. Or if you prefer to email me directly, then please do so as well. My email is always in the description box below. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. And until the next time, happy knitting and crochet.